I'm Dr. Robert Perkins, the Acting Dean of the College of Certified Psychophysiologists. I'm here today to talk briefly about the tragic events that transpired in Nashville, Tennessee, at a school shooting at Covenant School, um, where six lives were lost. Three nine-year-old girls' lives were snuffed out. Three individuals uh, that worked for that school whose lives were snuffed out. And the families, then the community, and all of the students and staff whose lives will never be the same uh, after the events that transpired today. And, you know, this just goes to show us that there is a large amount of people out there hurting, out there struggling, that don't have the resources or the wherewithal uh, to deal uh, with the events that life is throwing at them. So I think we can all agree that the events of today was tragic. I think we can all agree that there are many people out there struggling um, that are just one event away of a straw breaking the camel's back, uh, where they feel that their only uh, way to deal with this situation is to irrationally act in a mass violence that snuffs out the lives of others. So I think we can all agree that this problem exists. And I think we can also all agree that we don't have the solution to this problem. So if we can agree on that, I think we can all agree that we need to look for this solution. We need to recognize that this is a huge problem in our society uh, and it's only gonna get worse. Uh, we need to work and collaborate together to reach out to those who are struggling and as a mental health community, we need to collaborate together to reach out and find what type of solutions are going to work because what we're doing does not seem to be able to help everyone out there. It's very important that we don't lose the focus of today. The focus is a tragic loss of life, but the focus is also the fact that this problem exists in our society. We don't wanna lose sight over who did it, why they did it, you know, whether this person was white or black, whether they were straight or gay, whether they were trans or non-binary. Let me tell you something, trauma and life's difficulties does not discriminate. It doesn't. It affects every human being, regardless of color, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, life can be hard at times. And we need to take more efforts to get people who are suffering, to get people who are struggling the help that they need. Thank you.